when video conferencing in Microsoft Teams. As the meeting organizer, you can split up your students or meeting attendees into separate mini meetings, or as they're most commonly known, breakout rooms. Breakout rooms can be used for smaller discussions or brainstorming sessions. And now in Microsoft Teams, you can set up these breakout rooms before your meeting actually begins. Let me walk you guys through it. To be able to set up our breakout rooms before our meeting begins, we first need to have a meeting scheduled. So we can go ahead and in our Teams calendar, go ahead and start scheduling a meeting. We want to schedule a meeting with participants. So once all of your participants are added and all of your information is in, we can go ahead and send this out and then start creating our breakout rooms. Begin by editing your meeting and then going into the breakout rooms tab up here on the top. From there, we can just go ahead and click create rooms. So now we can choose how many rooms that we want to have in our meeting. So you can choose anywhere from two to 50. Today, we're just going to go with two. Then click add rooms and Teams will begin creating your rooms and adding it to your meeting. However, you still have to assign participants to the meeting. So go ahead and click the assign participants button up here in the corner. And then we can choose if we want Teams to automatically assign the participants for us or if we want to manually decide for ourselves if you already have an idea of how you want to shake up your participants. So today we're just going to go automatically and go ahead and click next. And once Teams is done assigning our participants, we can go ahead and click back into the assign participants button to see how it all played out. If you need to edit where anyone is, you can go ahead and use the drop down menu here. In addition, this is the view that you're going to see if you would have chosen to manually assign participants to your room. So you'll see your student list and then also the room. So you can just go down the line and go ahead and select which room they should be in. You can also use the checkboxes to make it a little bit quicker for yourself. Once that is all complete, we can go ahead and edit our rooms. So with these ellipses up here, we can give each room a different name. That way it's a little bit more personal for you guys. In addition, in the ellipses, you guys can choose to delete that one specific room. If you're looking to delete all of the rooms, you can use the garbage can up here at the top, or you can use the plus button if you want to add more rooms. The button in the middle is to recreate the room, so that's pretty much just gonna start you back over from the beginning. Now we can get into some of the settings for our rooms. So with the gear icon here, we can open up our settings and choose to assign a presenter to manage each of the rooms if we want. You can set a time limit to determine how long participants are in the breakout rooms for. And then we can also control the movement of our participants with these bottom two options. So we can allow our participants to automatically get moved into their breakout room. That way it's a little bit easier for you and for your audience. So have that toggle on. And then the last one is to allow people or not to return back to that main meeting room once they're in their breakout rooms. So we recommend keeping this one off. That way everyone is in their participant breakout room for the whole time until the breakout room time limit is up or you call everyone back to the room. So there's no going back and forth on their own. This is all the setup and editing that we can do here. So now let's get into the meeting and open them up. When your meeting has begun and you're all ready for the breakout rooms to start, you can go ahead and click on the breakout rooms icon up here in this top ribbon. From there, you can just go ahead and click open and that's it, you're all set. Your participants will automatically be moved into their breakout rooms if you had checked that setting previously. You'll also notice a whole bunch of familiar icons on the breakout rooms tab here. And for more information on these details and running your breakout rooms and all the different options that you have, like assigning latecomers, editing your room settings, and going to view your participants in their breakout rooms, take a look at this video that we've already created. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Sarah from Inkno. You can go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you don't miss me in the next video and all of our class point and ed tech tips and tricks. Thank you.